Hey, what's going on, y'all? Jay here, and uh, this time I got a little something special for y'all. So I figured out this footstool combo with Pit. I uh, haven't seen anyone else do it, so I figured I'd share it with y'all. Now, I will say there's a lot of forums online that talk about Smash and combos and whatnot. So they might have something on there, but personally, I haven't seen anything. And I know there's another video on YouTube. Uh, shout out to Kibzu, I think that's his name. Uh, he had his own uh, video of a certain footstool, the jab lock combo that he did with Pit. I'll leave a link to that video in the description. And of course, mine is just different. I'll go over it step by step how to do it with certain characters and weight classes and what percentage is good on. So, yeah, with all that said, let's get into it. Now, Pitt does have quite a few options out of his throws, mainly down throw. But for this combo, what you need to know how to do is a down throw to a down air. When you down air, you want to get the sour spot as it pops the target somewhat above you. If you get the sweet spot, of course, it'll just be a spike and it'll go straight down. Some more depth on this combo. You can chain multiple down airs after the first one. How you do that is uh, you, you know you do the down throw down air, and after that first one, you fast fall, jump, and do another one. And here's an example of me doing it. Uh, you can still do this and get the same effect of what I'm about to show you uh, right now. So yeah, back to the original combo. Uh, after the first down throw down air, what you want to do is uh, you footstool after the down air, and by doing so, the opponent falls to the ground, thereby allowing you to fast fall down air. And note that in most cases, you want to jump cancel the footstool so you don't jump too high. All right, y'all, that's all the steps. Um, it's pretty much it, really. You just down throw down air footstool and fast fall down there and you can pretty much do whatever you want once you jab block them you can even set up another one and yeah that's it so right now i'm about to go over how it works on different weight classes uh some inconsistencies you know flaws and whatnot so i'll be right back okay so as i'm explaining this i want y'all to keep in mind that i was training I was trying all of these in the training room. So these are all just like training room percentages. Uh, people can still DI, but if you follow their DI, you should be all right. You can still get the same thing. But what I figured out was lightweights can be comboed generally between 0 and 15%. Midweights generally combo between 0 and 20, even higher without DI. Heavy 0 to 30, again, even higher without DI. And fast followers are probably the hardest to land it on because you can't just do it at zero. Like they fast, they fall too fast. And once you try to get that down there, it, you're more than likely going to get the spike at first. So it's better to go for something like down throw straw hut forwarder and re grab. And that way you already have some percent on them and then you can just go for the down throw footstool, hopefully. So, yeah. Okay, so I was looking at some inconsistencies in the combo, and mostly it's like platforms, light characters, and fast followers. Also, any character with a uh, move that comes out fast enough to break out of combos, like the Mario Brothers in there, uh, they can get out of it because Piss Downer comes out on like frame 10, so it's pretty hard to get it on them. But platforms, man, they can hinder your success when trying to get the footstool after the downer or the fast fall downer after the footstool because um, the, posi the position of the platforms didn't really help you that much. So flat stages are more advantageous like uh, Final Destination or even uh, Smashville, to be honest. So I would go with those. And Jigglypuff, man. Jigglypuff is really light, of course. So... I was trying it out most of the time, and I just could not hit her with down air after the uh, down throw. And a lot of lightweights can also DI away and be safe. So even following their DI doesn't help a lot of times. So you'd probably have to go for something guaranteed, like up air or forward air. And fast followers, uh, after the footstool, man, they drop so fast that the timing you have to get the fast fall down air and 
reset them is super tight. So that's, it can be a little inconsistent on them, but I still did it a couple times. So, yeah. Thanks so much for watching, y'all. I'll probably be mo uh, releasing more content like this in the future. So stay tuned for that. And if you like the video, uh, you know, leave a like, comment, share, all that good shit. Okay, my damn webcam keeps messing up. So I have to keep turning this on and off again. So it'll look a little weird. But uh, yeah, I'm about to say sorry for if this video isn't professional, guys. Like, I know the audio and the visuals kind of just aren't the best, but I'm beyond some of my Windows Movie Maker, so I'm trying right now. But if I ever get better equipment in the future, man, uh, yeah, expect better content. Uh, I'll probably do more videos like this too, like tutorials and whatnot. So, uh, yeah, that's all I got, man, and thanks for watching again. Really appreciate it. And to my next video, uh, peace.